things is the extent to which Christians have absorbed an idea in the modern era that we are thinking things. That is, we, we tend to so focus on what we know and what we believe, and we think of discipleship as kind of depositing intellectual content into our brain receptacles, that we uh, overestimate the power of knowledge and underestimate the significance of our loves and our longings and our desires. And so in You Are What You Love, what I'm inviting people to do is in a way sort of shift the center of gravity in how they understand the human person without not so narrowly and, and exclusively focusing on equipping intellects and realizing that if we really want to shape people in Christ's image, we need to move down to the level of their heart to their deepest passions, to their longings, to their desires, to what they love. You're not a thinking thing. You are a lover. You've been made by God as somebody whose heart is after Him, who's longing for Him, that's craving uh, a sustenance in Him. Becoming a follower of Jesus is more than knowing what Jesus wants you to believe. It's loving what Jesus loves. And to become that kind of person requires attention not just to our intellect, but to our passions, our longings, our loves, what Scripture calls the heart. And that heart is the seat of our deepest habits, our dispositions and inclinations. And so any spirituality that's truly going to be transformative, any Christian formation that is actually going to be transformational, has to be a formation that taps into the heart. Mm -hmm.